Here we are. It only took me a train, two buses, and a cab, but I finally found them. In this quiet little town. Hmm. Safe, sure, but given their past, they wouldn't have lasted long here. No, no, no. They crave danger. Adrenaline. Temptation. This town's far too quiet for all that. But quiet enough to make them break. And lucky for me, I'm just in time to watch. They thought they could outrun me, outrun the law. But just like wolves, hungry, stalking their prey, I've hunted and I've found. When they decided to rob the city bank and take off, I knew they'd hop on the next train out of here. It was headed south, following the water. I was patient, made my way down here, found out with just a wink from the local barkeep that they come here every night for a drink. That's when I devised my plan. They're all alone, lonely, looking for companionship. Sounds like a recipe for some seduction and a confession. Hey there, sugar. You look lonely. Why oh, the long face? Care if I join you? You must be new around here. You're quite good looking, and I wouldn't forget that face. What brings you to town? Same boring answer they always give. I was so sure that you'd be different. Business. Well. What kind of business you in? Oh. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're lying. It's just. Someone as attractive as you. I don't see you sitting behind a bank desk all day pushing papers, but maybe that's just me. Can I buy you a drink? Oh, come on. You wouldn't tell a little lady no, would you? Just one. I'm just drinking sex on the beach. It's a good drink. And a good time. <laughs> Alright. Barky. Two more, please. For me and my new friend here. So tell me, sweetie.
What is it you really do? Well, it's just that I'd be awfully disappointed if you really did just push papers. You see, I like my men like I like my life. Wild and dangerous. And you strike me as someone who likes to live on the edge. Am I wrong? Right where I want it. I see the way he's staring. Every man's weakness. Red lips, skin, and a strong drink. Now, to get him talking. Do you smoke? Good. I never trust a fella who turns down a good smoke. Here we are. I hope you don't mind as I get a little close. Good. Need a light. There we go. I just love fire. It just makes me feel so hot. So tell me, darling. What do you really do? What makes you tick? I see. And why are you here all alone? Where's your girl? Your friends? Family? City boy. I thought so. You don't strike me as someone who comes from a small town. 
You look like you know how to play rough and get dirty. Take it as a compliment, darling. I don't like clean. So when did you get to town, darling? A couple days ago. And how long do you plan on staying? Oh. I'm hard to get, sweetie. All you have to do is ask. I want to get out of here. In fast. I have money. I just need a way out. And considering how fast you blew in here, under everyone's noses, you seem like the person I should be talking to. Yeah, I've got money. And a lot of it. So. What do you say we stop playing games? Stop this whole cat and mouse and you tell me what you do for a living. I think you can help me and I think I can help you. So what do you say? How naughty. Is the big bad wolf afraid of the little old sheep? You can show me. After all, I'm just a small town girl. No one would believe me anyway. So, show me the goods. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. And I did buy you a drink. So, you owe me. There we go. Wow, real money bag. Don't worry, I'll keep it down. Let's just see here. My, my. Someone sure got a lot going for them. Hmm. Well, what's a guy like you gonna do with all that money by yourself? She would get lonely after a while. I 
I mean, I'm sure someone helped you rob that bank, right? I'm not saying you couldn't do it all on your own, but I'd be pretty impressed. I see. But it was just a small town bank, right? I mean, if you did it by yourself, there's no way you could get a big city bank, could you? Oh, really? In which bank is that? The one from the paper on December 2nd? Wow. I see. Well, sugar, this is my favorite part. I hate to break it to you, but you're under arrest. <laughs> my name's Detective Kelly. I've been hunting you down since you fled town. All I needed was a confession, and you sang like the pretty little canary I thought you would. Oh. Don't be like that. I really do think we have a connection. But that's just me putting you behind bars. 